All right, welcome back to Building an Asteroid Station, and today we tackle the engine room. Of course, let's do in the time lapse. All right, so as you saw in the time lapse, we decided to work on somewhat of the engine room, which is basically rotisserie chicken style of hydrogen engines, as you see here. 
why I did that, I have no idea, but I just wanted to give it a shot and see what it looks like. And I surrounded it with beams in the middle section and also some truss on the other side. I'm not sure why I added hydrogen tanks here, but it kind of makes sense that I did have some here to stockpile for it to run through the engines. Although we do have the modular pieces outside, which we can transfer hydrogen from outside in. I guess it could make sense in that way. But kind of the thought process here was trying to make a spinning engine like thing. Although pistons would probably make more sense in terms of engines. But I did some advanced rotor spinning on one direction that way. And then the one on the opposite way with these engines. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a motion and look to it. Came out okay. Still wasn't the best idea, but just making everything move so it just looks more decent instead of just having everything static. But yeah, the, the middle one has two layers of eight hydrogen engines per section. As is section one, this is section two. And on, on the sides here, we have a, a section on its own. Surrounded by these trusses with the truss lights and everything like that. So I try to color it like an orangey copper piping. And then this is a more silver look on the engines itself. Kind of popped a little bit. Not too bad. And then the hydrogen tanks itself put a little bit of a frost to it. But yeah, it kind of looks decent. And it looks kind of like a distillery. <laughs> so it was kind of what I was going for in a sense. But that's the first layer. And of course, the second layer or second floor. This looks more like a distillery, which has so many different hydrogen tanks here so a total of eight tanks on one side and the other side so 16 hydrogen tanks really up here and keeping with the windows and designs i put all these catwalks i can see outside from here see the tanks um I'm not sure if i'm gonna put another layer up here i mean we could do some catwalk on the side to get up here if we wanted to but i think this will be more than enough with the catwalk so you can see down onto the engine see everything's working fine i put a bit of Blood lights on the side here a little too much but i was thinking of doing it section by section meaning minus one here minus one here so skip every other but that didn't really turn out that great so i just kind of threw all in there but the top here is like a truss line and then throw in the floodlights for lights which turned out pretty good i think but it's becoming a little bit more difficult to build new things as the creative juices are running low and this asteroid station is quite overwhelming, as you see here. And I did do this section here with the stairs going into the factory right here, the production line. So it does this little ramps or stairs, and then the sides, you got a little bit of a lift to it or a lip to it. So when you walk through it, it's very kind of Star Wars-y in, in essence. And it goes into this room, which is eventually going to have a gate or something like that. And I might have to push this catwalk back by one, but I like that you can see the engines right over here working it's not necessarily on but the rotisserie is working also other than that we cleared out some of the sections here so that all the hundred tanks can be loaded on that side so we did stockpile some of those tanks there and we're just gonna start getting rid of more we do need an o2h2 generator somewhere i mean ideally we have it on the freighter or something like that so we can put in the external modular hydrogen tanks in to suck into these tanks inside but i mean internally we should probably just have some o2h2 generators running anyways to kind of fill it up if necessary the external modular ones that is mainly for looks anyway so that's what it is and then we just got to clear out all this and i think we have way more space than we really need for everything so we got our reactor core right over here which is offline we have our production line here which a bunch of cargoes, a bunch of refineries, and assemblers to work on everything that we need. But what other rooms do we need? I mean, we got like a mess hall, quarters, sleeping quarters, things like that left. But we don't need this, this much space. So that's what I mean by it's getting a little bit on the overwhelming side to build a more on here. We also have the brains section, which is this whole control room section here ample ample room for a broadcast at place or control tower like thing we do the mess hall here so much we could put here and again there's so much room on the other side to put more here so not sure what to really put here but 
feel free to leave some suggestions down below in the comment section and of course i'll take it to consideration and see what i could come up with but of course i hope you guys enjoyed this one please like and subscribe don't forget to drop a comment down below even just say hi and of course i'll see you guys next time bye